In this video, we are going to discuss observational and experimental studies. In an observational study, the researcher merely observes what is happening and what has happened in the past and tries to draw conclusion based on those observations. So, in case of observational study, the researcher will be concerning with the past observations and the present observations and from there they will draw the conclusion. In an experimental study, the researcher manipulates one of the variables and tries to determine how the manipulation influences on the other variables. So, let us suppose in a certain college, it has been decided that the college study hour will be, will be extended. So, this is one variable which has been changed. Now, we shall have to check whether how, how far this particular change in the variable is causing one effect in the student marks obtain, going to get obtained in the coming exams, their respective attendances, their performances and so on. The independent variable is in an experimental study is one that is being manipulated by the observed by the researcher. The independent variable is also called the explanatory variable. So, independent variable which will be changed by the researcher will be known as the explanatory variable. The resultant variable is called the dependent variable or the outcome variable. So, here in case of explanatory variable we can consider the study hour per day and here in case of outcome variable the respective student marks, grades, the respective performances, attendances. So, that is our outcome variable in this particular problem. The group that received the special instructions is called the treatment group and the other is called the control group. Let us suppose there are a set of students are there, we are going to give a certain health drink for a certain set of students and rest of the students they are not going to get the health drink. So, in that case what will happen, those students will be going to get the health drink or some special instructions will be known as the treatment group and those students who are not going to get that health drink or some set of instructions will be known as the control group. The treatment group receives a specific treatment, in this case say instructions for improvement if I can consider, while the control group does not have that treatment. So, in this way we have discussed what is our observational and experimental studies. Thanks for watching this video.